Hello viewers, welcome back to yet another video about um, our trusted pick design gear. Um, today I'd like to use um, this video as an opportunity to show you how my daily setup is and um, what I'm actually using the bags for besides making videos about, um, I'm looking at the screen, um, besides making videos of how much you can get into them because this is what the last videos have been about. I got a lot of um, Fujifilm lenses and bodies and whatnot and tried to put as many gear configurations um, together to show you what fits. And today I'd like to use um, my time to show you what I'm actually using them for and uh, yeah, what my daily drivers are, what my peak design ecosystem is, if, if you will. So um, this is what this video is about. I hope you, uh, you, like, uh, you like it and enjoy it. Um, if you have any questions uh, regarding the bags or cameras, gear, whatnot, um, feel free to um, drop them down below. I'm trying to answer them as uh, quickly as I possibly can. So let's uh, get right into it and uh, yeah. Um, first one is the uh, camera cube, it's the size medium. Um, then we have the um, everyday sling, um, seven liter, I suppose. Uh, and the everyday backpack version two, um, 30 liter, that's the one. This is um, the mothership, if you will. Um, this is what, uh, what's usually inside. Um, I have this uh, big compartment where my 50 to uh, 140 sits in, uh, ready to go. Then there is usually um, up front is the X-H1, in this case uh, 1614 uh, mounted. Um, this is my, my main camera for when I'm uh, shooting for, um, yeah, for clients, uh, daily documentaries, um, stills, videos, whatnot. This is my workhorse. And um, then there is my secondary camera sitting right here with the 32, um, a 23 um, F2, sorry, uh, mounted. This is, uh, yeah, if you will, my secondary body and for pure pleasure because I really like this body style and yeah, the photos are the same quality of the XH1, but I just like this body style a lot. So that's my second camera. Um, up top here, there is the booster grip for the XH1, which I only use if I'm um, long out for, for long shoots or uh, for video, I like it to have a better grip. Um, that's what this is for. And then up here is, again, the most underrated kit lens in the world, the 18 to 55. Um, I still couldn't uh, justify um, moving to the 16 to 55, um, which ironically is shooting this video at the moment because I needed a, an extra lens. Um, it's a great lens, but I just couldn't justify it replacing it before having a 10 to 24 or something like that. Um, and then we have the last compartment here. That's, yeah, that's not really a, a lens compartment because um, I keep the small um, flash from Fuji, which is not very powerful, but at least I have one if shit goes down. Um, so that's sitting here. Then there's this little sticky compartment. Yeah, and this is uh, where I usually keep, you know, like spare SD cards and put, um, I don't know, just small stuff that I'm going to lose if I don't have this one. Um, that's going to land in here. So therefore, no lenses can get in here. So this is where I keep, you know, there is capture and the flash I talked about. And then there is surprise a strap and a lens hood so this is what's living in here if I 
miss an item um, and I can't find it anywhere, there's a big uh, possibility that it's sitting in here. And uh, usually uh, my microphone, which is the uh, Rode Video Mic Go, is sitting on top of this compartment like so. This is where it sits and um, usually I have my um, Peak Design camera strap in an extra fluffy, you know, cloth sitting on top of the 52140 so it doesn't get scratched. So this is the mothership. Mind you, I have this packed every time ready to go in case I, I want to shoot and I want to bring everything that I have. This is packed and I can just grab it and off I am. Our trusted sling. Um, my daily driver, for my daily, daily driver I have only one divider in there. You'll see why in a minute. Because when I use this bag I usually only bring one camera and this could be the X-H1, this could be the um, X-Pro2. Um, both will fit inside with any lens that I own. And the second compartment is usually, I don't know, I bring my TV children series presenters uh, glasses or as James May would say. Um, and then there's, you know, you put a phone in there, you put your wallet in there, and maybe up top you put your your AirPods or whatnot, or just small stuff, um, and that's basically it. And um, yeah, you can also store extra camera bodies in there if, if I have rentals or whatnot. And this is usually just sitting around waiting to be used, just like that. Off to the big boy. Um, let's begin with the uh, top um, usually these by the way um, compared to the old bag this is really hard to open so peak design please make this easier to open with one hand so up top is usually of course um, my phone and then if i want to bring a wallet which i usually do that sits right in here and in this case sometimes if I bring a GoPro that's also sitting right there and then of course if I bring my tablet that's sitting in here and if I bring a laptop which is right here for the sake of this video that's also sitting in there so side compartment If I don't jam this bag to its maximum and um, I have some room left up here, I actually like to use this one for my wallet because it just fits perfectly and it's snug and it can't get anywhere and coins can't fall out. This I never use up until now. I never had a use case for this. Um, one of these compartments, depending on if I have to get into it or how often I have to get to it uh, when I'm on the go, is carrying my uh, tech pouch. This thing is a genius thing. I love it. Um, usually it's nothing special in here. There's hard drives, cables, Apple Pencil, connectors uh, and adapters for MacBooks. Thanks, Apple. Um, so this is sitting in here. If I carry lunch, this is sitting in the back on the bottom. Um, and then on the top, there is item, items that I don't mind shattering, which is this box for goggles, uh, for, for glasses, um, gloves. And nowadays, of course, uh, masks they sit there um, if I don't bring lunch or I don't need lunch or it can't spill it sits on top and then I have one compartment left for a camera usually sorry if I carry a camera it's this way around so 
the bottom some carries something that can't break if I drop the bag too harsh and in the middle sits well protected e-camera. Of course this could be combined with this fella to carry extra stuff but this is what I usually use this bag for. Yep, that's been it. Again, if you have any questions, um, drop them down below. I'll try to answer them as uh, quickly as possible. And uh, if you want to see more, subscribe.